Elijah Tillery is trying to do is bring Riddick Bowe down to his level. Riddick Bowe feels that Tillery poses no threat whatsoever. Tillery, a boxer, great fighter, has a sparring partner, but has never been able to produce yet in the ring, although he comes in with a record of 23 and 4. His last fight was a year ago. He lost 10-rounder to Art Tucker, a man that Bo took out in the third round. And in this opening round, look who is tense. Look who is tight, swinging, trying to put everything into their shots. Right here, Riddick is just trying to get into the rhythm of the fight, get that left jab working, get all the muscles oiled up and grease and sweat flowing, and then bring a heavy power punch. Bo with a big reach advantage, utilizing that jab. Tries to make his opponent run into the big right. But he also has a good left hook. And we saw an example of that when he fought Bruce Selden. Took him out with the left hook. When Riddick Bowe knocked out Art Tucker. Ooh, there's that right there hand. There is artillery. Bowe feels once Tillery is tagged, he will run and he will hold on. Bowe trying to do some quick work here in the first round and there is the holding but Bo showing his strength able to crack through those strong arms of Tillery when Bo beat Art Tucker Tillery was on that card fighting Mike Dixon and Bo was watching the fight and he said when Dixon attacked Tillery he saw Tillery the heart was gone and he was running and now that's what Bo's trying to do to Tillery here in the first he has him hurt he has him on the run and he wants to put him away right here. And look at Tillery trying to hold on, trying to survive, trying to last. This is what he has learned in all of his sparring of all these great fighters, these power punches. In the gym, he's been able, been able to hold on and last through, survive. And Riddick Bowe, now he's got to control his thoughts, put his punches together, and put him in there. Oh. Second warning for holding from Carl Milligan. And he is likely to get more. Bo has uh, 26 wins, 23 knockouts, nine of those in the first round. Going for double figures tonight. Is that a knockdown? Hook. That was a left hook. You and cannot be saved by the bell. And then a fight broke out. Incredible conclusion to round number one. Carl Milliken, the referee, they go at it again. There were still several seconds to go. It seemed like a long round. There's the bell, and now some extra work. Oh, a little kickboxing by Elijah Tillery. Bo won't stand for that. Rock Newman, the manager of Riddick Bow, and a tag team comes in, and Elijah Tillery does a 360, a spill out of the ring. Pandemonium in the ring at the end of round number one. Elijah Tillery dumped off the apron, taken down by Rock Newman. And uh, at this point, I believe Tillery has been disqualified from the fight. Why, I don't know. But at this point, we are led to believe that the fight is over just when it began and the crowd is going crazy why stop this fight referee Carl Milligan has got to keep control of the match well we originally had two co-features we may turn out to have three four or five of them A lot of anger, a lot of frustration. If, if you are so close, if you are knocked out of the ring, you have to get back in a certain amount of time. But Elijah Tillery had a little help in getting out of the ring. Plus, the bell had sounded. The round was over. And uh, somebody in there has completely lost control of this one just when this was getting good. Why they would call it now is beyond me. All right, Eric Darian perhaps uh, will be able to help sort us out in finding an answer. But I think uh, Ladies. an answer needs some answers. Ladies. 
Bizarre. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Carl Milligan has disqualified Principal Elijah Tillery with a flagrant kick. Therefore, the winner by disqualification and still undefeated. And the brand new WBC Carol Heavyweight Champion Riddick Big Daddy Bo. Now we may have a riot. The fans very upset and understandably. They paid good money to come here to see a fight. And at this point, Sean, I haven't seen any reason to eliminate Elijah Tillery unless he had some words with the referee. Elijah Tillery isn't the one that really started. It was it was Riddick Bowe that punched Elijah Tillery after and the, the round. And it was Rock Newman, the manager of Riddick Bowe, that, from our view, pulled him over the ring. The only thing that we could think of is uh, Elijah Tillery kicking Riddick Bowe after the bell. That was after the bell, and that was after Riddick had started a fight with him. Well, we'll try to sort this thing out when we return. Riddick Bow gets the win. The crowd, they do not believe what they have just seen. This fight was stopped at the end of one round. Elijah Tillery disqualified, we understand, because uh, he attempted to kick Riddick Bow. Now, this is the wild scene that ended the fight. About 30 seconds to go, uh, 41 to be exact, and Riddick Bow had stunned Elijah Tillery a little earlier, and right now Elijah doing his famous hold. There is the referee, Carl Milligan, giving a second warning to Tillery for holding. Perhaps uh, he also had that in mind, the tactics of uh, Tillery, but Carl Milligan Little did he know what was in store. Elijah Tillery was just trying to survive at this point. The hands up around the face, leaning backwards over the rope, and the left hook connects from Riddick Bow. Now, this is where... Now, you see the time there? Down. It should be over. Where's the bell? At this point, it should be over. They should be going back to their corners. It was a very long round. The bell was Number late. One. Secondly, finally, when the bell rang, Elijah Tillery stuck his face out and Riddick Bowe, and Riddick Bowe just hit it. And you see Rock Newman getting involved in this. Both of them almost falling over the rope. So much emotion in a fight of this nature. Just a step away from the World Heavyweight Championship, and this man, is, Riddick Bowe, is so tense. He's so fired up for this fight. Very important match for Riddick Bowe. So Riddick Bowe threw the first punch after the bell, but it was the kick that disqualified Tillery. We'll get the account right from the mouth of Riddick Bowe. When we main event, uh, the victory goes to Riddick Bowe after one round. And Riddick, we've seen the tape several times now. What was your bird's eye view of what was going on? Well, actually, I was just getting warmed up, and he was taunting me at the end of the round. So I just, you know, kind of like pushed him. And then he, he just went like berserk and what have you, you know. Um, I would accept it, but he kicked me, and after that, I just lost it. Uh, we understand that is why he was disqualified, because of the kick. Well, you know, uh, I think he should learn to uh, maintain his composure, you know. He, he, I think after he got dropped with that left hook in the first round, I think he pretty much got upset, you know. And once he got his head cleared a little bit, he realized he was in a fight, well, and so he, he kicked me. You talk about maintaining composure, but in looking at the tape, you were the one who threw the first fight after the bell. That was after he kicked me. I, mean, I pushed him. Well, through. we're going to get another well, look. After he kicked me. Now, you know. All right, that remains to be seen. Let's take another look at the tape. This was the conclusion. He was holding on. He was warned twice already for holding. You had him in deep trouble right, here see, in the first round. Right here, you see, he's taunting me. Up, oh, there goes the left. The bell rang. He, he kicked me and he punched me at the same time. Kicked me again. Well, he kicked me about three times, right? And then he got yoked. See? Kicked me three times. 
Chomp. And this is where your manager, Rod no, Newman, who's becoming a star here on USA, uh, USA came in. Rock what, what, Rock, what kind of a hold, and have you been working on that during uh, practice sessions? Uh, absolutely not. I'm sorry that uh, particular incident took place. Things got a little heated. I don't know what the hell Tillery thinks this is. He goes around kicking this guy, and I saw him intentionally try to kick him in the groin. We are a team. We are a family. We can't let those things, kind of things happen. Rock and Riddick, why does something like this happen? Is it emotion? I don't know. Um, I guess he, he was hyped for the fight, and perhaps he really did not handle it. I told you guys earlier, you know, he's starting to get some attention, some attention, and he really don't know how to handle it. One thing you can what, say about Riddick. What, 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 what about Riddick? I mean, you, your fight plan tonight, you were working terrifically in that first round, perfectly, and then at the end of the first round, you kind of let the emotion get to like you. Like I said, no, he was taunting me. I, I was motioning him, you know, telling him to get out of my face, right. and then he kicked me, and that's when I lost yeah. it. How much do you think this hurts you? It don't hurt me at all. Uh, I have the belt, right? <laughs> it was, uh, did, it, did it seem to be a long round to you? Because we had our clock up there, uh, and the round seemed to end, and it continued for, what, another six, seven seconds before we heard the bell. Did, did you have any indication that it was long? I didn't Could you tell? I didn't time. Okay. I'm just in a fight. All right. Well, there. you hear different words. Uh, from that video, uh, Riddick, looked like you threw the first punch uh, after the bell, and uh, that the kicks were uh, towards uh, the legs of, of Riddick Ball. Oh, he Ball. was trying to kick me in the groin there. Right. Well, uh, it wasn't a punch. It was a mush. It wasn't a punch. Were you... Let's take another look once again. This again, the closing seconds of uh, this bizarre conclusion with Riddick Bowe in the white trunks. Elijah Tillery, they've been talking look. trash for several days. Now the bell rings. So I just mushed him. I ain't try to punch him hard or anything like that. But he kicked me, and that, that's when yep. I lost him when he did that. Yep. See that yep. right there? Look at that kick right kick there. Kick was high. Somebody put yeah. his foot on me. Keep his feet on the ground. Yeah. He, he ain't have a son named Riddick Bowe kicking mm. me. Were, were you... Were you upset that they stopped the fight? Oh, very much so. I wanted to continue. Um, I would like to get this fellow here a rematch if he can keep his feet on the ground. <laughs> I, I think I would still want to stay away from him if he's going to fight not according to the well, rules. Well, what, what, what would have happened there very clearly? Ty, uh, Tillery was getting his butt kicked. And I wish they had let the fight go on. Riddick would have knocked him out cleanly, you know? He's a guy who came in town. He didn't have, he thought he didn't have anything at all to lose. He talked a lot of trash that he could never back up. He's a, he's a, he's a sparring partner. We gave him an opportunity. He's very unprofessional. Sorry the events happened that way. Riddick would have knocked him out clean. Don King is at the ringside. The speculation that uh, you two are talking about a possible matchup uh, with Mike Tyson. Uh, can you... Uh, uh, elaborate on that. My elaboration on that is to say that if Riddick Bowe were to fight Mike Tyson, it would be a fight that would be 20 times bigger than Holyfield versus something called Damiani. All right, and uh, Rock, will you be on the apron uh, in a possible fight uh, between Riddick and Tyson? If Tyson would try to kick Riddick, I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> All right. Rock Newman, uh, certainly in the corner. Uh, he's the second man on uh, this team with Riddick Bowe. We try to get the referee.